Good morning, everybody. Ha Hi, everyone. Happy Friday, although I don't know if Friday feels much different than any other day at the minute. Um, Mia's here again today to help me out. So she's going to be um, doing some of the exercises with us, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, hi Jade. So today we're gonna have 15 different exercises, 30 seconds each as usual, um, but the, you can start early and adjust it as you need to. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a quick warm up then. Hi Becca and Danny. Right, come on then Mia. Okay then, so let's start loosening off the shoulders. So rolling the shoulders back, squeezing them right up towards your ears and squeezing the shoulder blades back. Okay, let's take it forwards. Excellent, well done. Okay, let's take it into the arm circles then. Brilliant, and forwards. Okay, ready to loosen off the back then into that spine twist, bringing the knee forward, loosen off that lower back. <clears throat> Get a nice twist around, bring the knee forward so you can get right round. Brilliant. Okay, let's do the upper back then. So keeping the hips still, we're going to twist from the upper back. So just turning around at the top, so chest goes towards the side, hips Stay still. Brilliant. Well done. Let's do a few more. Okay, are we ready to take it into a squat then? Weight in the heels, squeezing the bottom. So this is loosening off our knees and our hips. So I think about putting that tummy in as well. This starts working the core. Let's do four more. Last one, then we're going to take it into a jog on the spot. Let's go. So this is going to get the heart rate up a little bit. Start warming us up. Okay, let's take the feet that little bit higher and kick the bottom. Well done, Mia. All right, then, ready for a hamstring cow then. Let's step. Step, take the foot up towards the bottom, pull the arms back, stretch that chest. Brilliant, well done, let's do eight more of those. Last four, then we're going to take it into a knee lift. Let's go, so we step, pull the knee up. So again, getting that uh, hip joint warmed up, loosened up. Do four more. Okay, let's jog it out, kicking the bottom. Excellent, well done. Again, engaging that core muscle. Brilliant, well then okay, grab a quick drink before you start. And hi Gemma, hi Aunt Shanji. Hi Shanji, I'm gonna say hello to Toby. Hi Toby. Okay, so like I say, we've got 15 different exercises today. And we're gonna start off with one called the bear crawl, which I will show you now. But first, if you've got a muscle separation or if you are in your second or third trimester of pregnancy, we're gonna do some um, ab hollowing instead. So we're gonna be on all fours, or you can be sitting down or standing. And we're just gonna engage the tummy muscles, pull the tummy in, hold it for a few seconds and then release it. Everybody else, we start on all fours, we tuck the toes under, we lift up slightly, and we crawl forwards, and then take it back. Okay, so think about pulling the tummy in while you do it. We've got 10 seconds before we start. Hi Lorna. Okay Mia, out the way then, you ready? Into position then. Let's go, so crawl forward. And then we take it back. So you can crawl as far forward as you can. You don't have to just do it three like I am. I'm just trying to stay in the picture. So this is like a full body workout, this one, a full body exercise. But it really is a good one for that core as well. You can probably feel that. A few seconds to go. Brilliant, 
okay, well done. Staying on the floor, now everybody can do this one. I'm gonna line this up, I'm gonna do a side plank. Now if you are pregnant and you have got the bump there, you might want to just support your bump with your hand. Now if you can, you're gonna put one foot on top of the other and we're gonna lift the hips off the floor. The modification is to keep one knee down and lift here. Okay, so whichever is best for you. If you have got a bump, obviously leave your knee down and just um, put your hand under your bump to support it. If you want to put your hand up here, you can do, or you can leave it on your waist. Really think about pulling this tummy in now. We're lifting up from the waist and this is working on toning the waist and the tummy, which I'm sure you can start to feel. So if you feel like you, if you are doing a full one, you can feel your hips sagging, you're better off to put your knee down. Last few seconds. Excellent, well done. Okay, we've got burpees next. But remember, we're only doing each exercise once. So we're not gonna think about doing it again. Okay, modification for burpees. So if you're pregnant or a muscle separation, we squat, lift at the back, squat, on the other side. Everybody else, we jump, jump it back, and then modification. You can step it out instead. Let's go. Sorry, that again. Remember, modification is to step it out. Mia says, everybody can watch her because she's so good at these burpees. <laughs> Excellent, we're almost there. Excellent, that's the worst one over. Right, back down then to do that side plank on the other side. Can't spoil your mat out of it, Mia. It's gone under the sofa, I don't know to it back out. Okay, so remember, modification is to have your knee down and lift it here. If not, feet straight out, power on top of each other. Make sure you're not sort of leaning forward or back as well while you do this, you want to be a nice straight line. Let's lift, squeezing in. So if you do feel like you're sagging, leaning forward or back, drop one knee down, bend it in and lift here. It's better to have that good form instead of trying to hold it like this. I've got eight seconds. Whew. Okay, squeeze everything in. <laughs> Almost there. Excellent, well done. Carefully back up onto your feet. Very good. Okay, next exercise, we've got jumping jacks. Modification and lower impact for those in the second or third trimester of pregnancy, or if you're not yet six months post birth, we step one foot out at a time. If not, it's the full jack. Try and touch those hands at the top. Okay, we've got a few seconds. Let's go. My mum's just joined, so say hello to Nana Mia. Hi, Nana. <laughs> okay. So getting that heart rate up with this one. Excellent, well done. Again, if you start to get tired, try not to stop, step one foot out instead. And that's the lower rim hand modification. A few seconds. Brilliant, well done, okay. We're back down onto the floor now. Hi Gina. Okay, so we're going back into a plank. If you've got a muscle separation, or your second or third trimester of pregnancy, we're on all fours, pulling the tummy in, and we're into bird dogs. Everybody else, we are, uh, in, we're going to a V plank. So, we start in a plank, we lift at the bottom, and then we bring it down. So you're squeezing the tummy in, we lift, and then down. Drop the knees if you need to. Lift up, so we're holding the tummy in all the time. Remember, if you need to drop your knees on this, especially if you've only recently just had your baby, uh, that's fine, because it will put a little bit of pressure on your back, if not. And drop down. 
really and why are they okay? Tricep dips then. So if you have got a bench or a chair, we're going to take it onto here. The fingertips face your bottom. Bring the bottom up. We're going to bend the elbows back and push up through the heel of the hand. If not, well done. If not, you can take it onto the floor. Lift the bottom up and lower yourself down using the arm, not the bottom. Mommy, I do change. Or you can take it down here with your bottom down. Mommy, I do change. Let's go. You do that one then. So if you have got the chair or bench and you're doing it like me, that is a really good option. Just get you that little bit more, you're using a bit more body weight. Okay, so pushing through the heel of the hand. Seven seconds. Well done, almost there. Bing. Okay, next exercise is shuffle to tears. So, shuffle to the side and we touch down. Shuffle to the side and touch down. If you are pregnant, you've got your little bump. We're gonna just keep the back up straight and just do a little bend, a little squat there. So when you do that bend down, we're not bending with the back, we're bending with the knees. Five seconds. Are we ready? Decide early. Well done. Let's go. So we shuffle, touch down, shuffle, and touch down. If you've got more space, use it. Maybe travel those shuffles. Brilliant. Well done. Two more exercises to go after this one. Almost there. We've got eight seconds. I'm gonna count down, Mia. Okay, rope climb is next. So this one's on the floor, but if you are pregnant and you can't lie down, so if you're 20 weeks plus pregnant, or if you've got muscle separation, we're gonna stand here, lift the knee, we're gonna do a little twist. Not too much, it's a nice little twist. Hold your tummy nice and tight. Everybody else will lie on the floor, feet up. Pretend there's a rope around your feet and we're gonna climb that rope, squeezing the tummy in, bringing the shoulder up off the floor. So really imagine you're pulling up on a rope with your hands. So holding your tummy in, this is working on your tummy and your waist. 10 seconds. Well done. Almost there. What have we got, Mia? How many seconds? Two, one. Brilliant, okay, roll onto your side and back up. Last exercise, so we're going to do toe taps. If you've got something you can just look at a marker on, so maybe a chair, just aim in the same place, so it just gives you a bit of focus. If not, you can just do it in front. Okay, modification is obviously slow it down, and step it instead, that will just take that impact out. Okay, let's go fast as you can. Last exercise. Brilliant, well done. Keep that tummy tight too, as much as you can. Almost there. We've got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Nine. Try not eight, to stop, just seven, drop it to that lower impact modification. Six, five, four, Okay, oh, grab yourselves a quick drink and have a little walk around. As always, don't just stop and sit down, even if you feel like it. Mm. So bring your heart rate down, gradually have a walk around. Do some stretches if you can. Right, well thank you all for joining. Next one will be Monday at 9.30. Um, Activity completed. So, I look forward to seeing you all then. Have a lovely weekend. The weather's supposed to be fab, so hopefully we'll get out into the garden. You're welcome, Danny. And we will see you all then. Bye-bye.